Blog Talk Radio. Provided by bensound.com. Welcome, everyone, to today's Earth Energy Forecast Show on this Tuesday, July 30th, 2019. Thank you for joining us today, or if you're listening later in the archive. I am your host, Joan Sirio. I'm looking forward to a perfect audio show today after last week's show with numerous audio problems. The good news is that Dr. Carl Kellerman agreed to try it again and will be on the show on September 10th. Today, we're going to talk about science and health with Tom Palladino from ScalarLight.com. With all of the toxins, heavy metals, and pathogens in our environment, this technology can offer an alternative to traditional medicine. Tom Palladino is a scalar energy researcher with over 25 years of experience helping people with overall health recovery from pathogenic infection and problematic health symptoms. Tom's work with scalar energy began during his undergraduate years with his primary inspiration being Nikola Tesla. Tesla discovered the existence of an energy that is not of the electromagnetic spectrum. Tom has been able to fashion his scalar light instrument to aid human health. Scalar energy is known as prana, chi, radiant energy, zero-point energy, elliptic energy, and ki. A scalar light instrument appears to have the ability to transmute pathogens quickly and painlessly. The technique appears to cause the infectious agent to fall apart. Once the causative agent of the disease is eliminated, The symptoms associated with that infection decrease or disappear altogether. The instruments work with the human bioenergetic field and have many implications for wellness. Tom is offering a complimentary offer to anyone. It's a 15-day free standard scalar session that includes the pathogen, toxin, heavy metal cleanse, chakra balancing, and the nutrient program, which delivers over 300 essential nutrients. You'll just go to scalarlight.com and click on free trial. His website, of course, is then scalarlight.com. And you can reach him at tom at scalarlight.com. Welcome to the show, Tom. Joan, it's a pleasure. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you for joining me today. I'm so curious about this today because I talk about it in my book, Hardwired to Heaven, a bit about using scalar energy to manifest. So, uh, how did you get interested in scalar energy, Tom? Well, um, this exactly what you just mentioned. It's a manifestation. It's from God. Scalar energy is consciousness, or what some people call grace, or others would call matrix. How did I get involved? Well, I guess this is my calling in life. Um, I was always interested in about men like Nikola Tesla, who is working with scalar energy, And I believe that this technology, as we'll explore in the next hour, offers such great promise to mankind. And that's that's where I'm headed with this. I want to see this technology improve the world. That's wonderful. So where does this originate? And and what's the nature of scalar energy? Sure. How is it different from all the other energy forms? Sure, good point. I want to make that distinction. Um, We're not working with electricity. When I say scalar light, it's a different spectrum than that of electromagnetic energy. Scalar light is not electromagnetic in character. So scalar energy is sunlight or starlight. And um, it's, it's the pure energy of the universe. It's that benign life force energy that we all seek. 
So scalar energy is sunlight and starlight. It's the initial energy of the universe. Therefrom, we have a derivative of that energy, which is electricity and magnetism. So I am working with this life force energy, and I've developed instruments that control this life force energy, what is known today as scalar energy, but in other circles it's known as, 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 as a, a ki, a prana, some people call it zero-point energy. It's all the same. It's that life force energy that originates from the stars. And how do you then take this energy? Um, you know, I mean, I, I, I know that you can take a prism and you can focus, you know, sunlight through it or yes. even a magnifying glass. And obviously we get heat from it. We can use a solar panels and get energy from that. How are you harnessing this energy? Well, it, the energy is everywhere. I have to make that very clear. And the audience will really be excited and titillated about this. Scalar energy is everywhere because it's sunlight and it's starlight. I simply have instruments that can control, can capture that energy and then harness it. And that's the key. This is the key element that I've developed is the ability to harness scalar energy and then use it accordingly to benefit us as, as a form of a work. It will perform a work function as we see fit. And the key to this is an engineering feat. And I have to give credit to engineers that predate my work. Um, in many ways, I've, I've worked um, almost by way of reverse engineering to create my instruments. Well, that's interesting. It sounds like, and you know, and, and as I read in your bio, uh, Tesla's work and how yes. he was able to capture free energy and use it. Yes, yes. yes. Um, I, I copied, in many ways, Nikola Tesla's work, and in to some respect, I reverse engineered what Tesla had achieved. Um, I'm also working with a, a group of engineers who I uh, want to give credit to. And as this, this ongoing endeavor, if you will, this is an emerging science, scalar energy, and it's obviously a group of people who've made contributions over the past 100 years. And the key element now is that we finally can control this energy and we can do so much good with this. I usually give the analogy, Joan, imagine the world without electricity and how that that invention the, and the ability to control electricity has therefrom produced so many inventions, so many technologies, and so many benefits to mankind. Well, what I'm saying is this. Now we can finally control scalar energy. And with that, likewise, we will see so many benefits, so many inventions, so much technology to be derived from this new energy spectrum as we have experienced in the past 100, 150 years with electricity. So this is, a, if you will, a watershed mark in human history. I believe scalar energy will be one of those events, um, a benchmark event in human history that will catapult mankind forward. Scalar energy technology will change the world for the better, significantly improving our lifestyle. I'm curious. You said that you reverse engineered what Tesla did. Um, can you talk about why you had to reverse engineer this? Well, I, I looked at Tesla's end game. I looked at the, the product that he had developed, and I knew it was scalar energy. Many of Tesla's inventions, especially the inventions at the latter part of his life, were scalar in character. He was no longer using AC electricity. So I had to look at his inventions and the inventions of other men, such as Moray and Hieronymus. These are the great scalar energy researchers. Mm -hmm. And I had to ascertain that they had achieved instrumentation that was controlling this spectrum, this scalar light spectrum. And again, in many ways, I've been able to copy these, these men and, and to take their end product and then work backwards, so to speak, in order to develop these instruments. Quite it's been fascinating. quite fascinating. Yes, yes. it's been quite yes. fascinating. It's, 
it, you know, it's it's a riddle, if you will. It's a scientific riddle. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And in many uh-huh. ways, you know, one of the big bugaboos I have is why should we do? Why should we reinvent something? What Tesla had already invented should have been promoted and should have been made promulgated right. throughout the world. Mm-hmm. Well, why mm-hmm. is it that I have to reinvent what Tesla has achieved? Why is right. it that I have to reinvent? There's an American inventor by the name of Hieronymus. Why is it that I have to reinvent what he's already invented? So mm-hmm. in many ways, mm-hmm. I want to give credence to these men. Okay, I stand upon the shoulders of giants. I, I will be the first and for, foremost to mention that. But this technology, again, it's so incredible what we can do with this technology that we really have to visit the masters and learn from them. We, I don't have uh, an, an infinite amount of time, obviously, Joan. So in many ways, I have to rely upon my predecessors, understand and appreciate what they achieved, and then take it from there. And I have been uh, fortunate enough to study their notes to understand their inventions so that I don't have to start from scratch, from ground zero. That's the key. Yes. Yes, I could do a whole show on why Tesla's work wasn't put out there, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> well, then. yes. And, and, I, and I do believe this is time. It is time for it to come back out, and uh, there's a lot of other things that are happening in the world that will – support your work, I believe. And it's very timely because if I understand this correctly, um, it is like free energy and we can also use it, extrapolate for not from only what you're doing with this work, but also what Tesla did with the free energy because um, we may need that soon. Um, yeah, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. We for a lot of reasons. A, yeah, exactly. For a lot of reasons. And what, what is Joan referring to? What am I referring to? Now, keep in mind, scalar energy, the source is the sun and the stars, meaning what? That's the power plant. Mm -hmm. It's an infinite supply of energy. If this is sunlight and starlight, that's the new power source. You don't have to dig for coal coal or drill for oil. The Mm -hmm. infinite power source is the stars. And what does that mean to us? It's clean energy. There doesn't leave any carbon footprint, obviously. So this has to be the new technology that we embrace. There's just too many problems fighting for oil, paying for oil. It's, it's problematic. We realize that. It pollutes. And, mm-hmm. and it's caused bloodshed over the centuries. So let's, yes. opt for, yes, let's opt for a new energy supply. And this is, what I'm, this is my point. Scalar energy is so vast, the implications. There are so many applications to be derived from scalar energy, and it will solve many of our problems today. So it can be used as an unlimited supply of energy, and we don't need all of the other forms of um, energy to fuel our homes, our cars, the you know the corporations, and all of the rest. Um, it's 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 time tom it's time yes it is i'm so yes, i'm is. so happy that you're doing this now because i really believe that you know everything has its time and season and this seems to be the season of it so you also say that scalar energy transcends time and space is that because yes. it's everywhere it's ubiquitous and yes it Precisely, precisely. That You hit the nail on the head. When we speak of this dimension, scalar light, scalar energy, it, it does not recognize any time parameter or spatial parameter, meaning if scalar energy is everywhere, if it's, if it's the mind of God, if it's consciousness, then it, it pervades the universe. And as such, it is beyond time. It is beyond space. It transcends time and space. So we are working with a dimension in which there will be instantaneous communication. There's no time lag. In other words, right. there's no point right. A yeah. and point B. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And if that's the case, then we can access all dimensions by way of scalar light. This dimension is infinite. It's an infinite dimension. 
you cannot put any parameter on this dimension. And this is the, the technology that I propose for the future in which it will be unlimited energy and the ability to communicate will be instantaneous and we will be able to access this energy anywhere in the universe. So we've removed all the impediments. And from an economic standpoint, there is no scarcity. You know, the the mm-hmm. number one impediment mm-hmm. in any economic model is scarcity. Well, right. there is no scarcity. There's an infinite number of stars producing an infinite amount of scalar energy. So this is the game changer that I propose. This technology will take the world uh, by storm, and the day is coming, people are starting to wake up, and that this technology will someday be embraced and it's going to change the way we live. Scalar energy will have a more profound impact than that of the iPhone, than that of the computer. The day is coming. Well, what I say in, in my book, Hardwired to Heaven, that um, scalar energy is the expression of non-local reality. And that's exactly what you said. I mean, you know, instantaneous, um, because everything is connected. And so there'd be instantaneous communication, instantaneous yeah. energy, because we don't yeah. have to wait for the sunlight to reach us. We go outside, it's there. Um, yes, yes. And, and, you know, this dimension explains so much of the phenomena we've never could understand. Clairvoyance. How is it that some people are mm-hmm. clairvoyant? Well, they can access that dimension, that that dimension of information, which is scalar light, that dimension of all knowingness. That's why some people are clairvoyant or have intuition. Um, that speaks to the gift of prophecy. Um, how is it that some people can time travel? You can time travel easily in scalar energy. Why? Because that dimension does not recognize any time constraint. Frankly, all time is in the present moment. So you're right. actually not traveling in time. In a scalar energy dimension, there's only one time, which is the present moment, and all centuries, if you will, all millennia, are consolidated into that one point of time. Quite mm-hmm. fascinating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you were saying that we could communicate instantaneously. That means that we don't need 5G technology then. That's correct. Correct? That's correct. That's correct. And I I did a whole show on 5G, and um, that would be awesome because of the health issues that come along with 5G. Speaking of health, so I know that your technology from looking at your website is is – you know, your focus is on human health. Can you talk about that and what services you offer? Sure. Um, I had to start somewhere, Joan, so to speak, and I wanted to start with human health. Um, it's something that I saw that we needed to pay attention to. Um, my endeavor is to have a global healing ministry by way of scalar light. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, again, scalar energy, scalar light transcends time and space. So, by way of scalar light instruments. I can work with people anywhere in the world. I can access people anywhere in the world by way of these instruments. So again, this is non-local, if you will, energy distribution. Now, with the scalar light instrument, I work with people around the world. I can administer energy around the world and do so in an instantaneous fashion. And I do that by way of a person's photograph. So when people will email, submit a photograph to me, and I place their photograph inside these instruments, there's an instantaneous connection with a person anywhere in the world. This is the nature of scalar energy. And with this instrument, with these series of instruments I have, it works like a satellite, and I can find, I can send healing energy to anybody in the world all by way of their photograph by virtue of the fact that they submitted a photograph to me. Now, to explain that, it is, the, it is the fundament, it is the very character of scalar energy in which everything is in the present moment and that everything can be accessed instantaneously once you're in that dimension. So when I take your photograph and place it in a scalar energy dimension, I have immediate connection and immediate access to a person anywhere in the world. 
And as such, my instrument working like a satellite, like a global satellite, can send healing to anybody in the world instantaneously. It's quite profound, quite straightforward, and it works. And I know I looked at your website, and if you go on the articles page, there's several articles there, and I know that you have some research um, to back this up. Can you talk to us about that? Yes, yes. One of the functions of these instruments, we're able to control, manipulate molecular bonds. And I've perfected a technique whereby we can easily break down, negate the chemical bonds, the molecular bonds of, say, a virus or a bacterium. And in such, as we can work with a scalar light instrument, break down, say, the, the chemical bonds, the molecular bonds that hold together the herpes virus. As such, the herpes virus will fragment or disassemble, fall apart. And to prove that, we have diagnostic test results from people around the world that speak to that point that we have been able to to eradicate the herpes virus as well as other viruses from the human body. And all of this is done by way of this simple, straightforward technique of scalar energy. And it's, it's wonderment, the ability of scalar energy to master, to control a microbe, a germ, and break apart that germ. So in synopsis, my scalar energy instruments can send energy into the human body, breaking apart viruses. The virus breaks apart, it, it fragments, and the person is no longer infected. To prove that, to prove the efficacy of these sessions, we have diagnostic tests from people around the world that show, that prove we've been able to eradicate the herpes virus from the human body. This is the the promise of scalar energy. This is the role that I see in the future, the ability to address microbial disease by way of scalar energy and do so in a painless, effective fashion. And how do you know? What, what, did, what were the parameters of the research? How do you know it was the scalar technology that did it and not some drug that they were taking or something else that they were doing? Sure. Um, I've worked with people around the world. And, and what I ask people when they submit a photograph to me, um, I ask them, are, are they currently under medication or, or, or have they gone off their medication? Whether they're on medication or they're not taking any medication whatsoever, the results remain the same. We're able to eradicate the herpes virus from the human body. And then I've seen people who've approached us, they've been infected with the herpes virus for one year. Some people have been infected for 20 or 25 years. Regardless of how long they've been infected, we're able to eradicate the herpes virus. So the cross-section continues, if you will, Joan. I've worked with people in Asia. We're able to, to eradicate the herpes virus in people living in Asia, North America, likewise, Africa, Europe, likewise. So we have a cross-section of people around the world, young, old, different, uh, different backgrounds, different ethnic backgrounds, different philosophical beliefs, if you will. It's a true cross-section of people around the world. Invariably, regardless of whether they are on medication or not, every test result that has been conducted every test result has come back negative for the herpes virus. And these are hundreds upon hundreds of test results that people have conducted. Without exception, we've been able to eradicate the herpes virus in everybody throughout the world. That's that's astonishing. It, does it work something similar to, I don't know if you, you know about this, the, the QXI machine or you know, one of those machines that um, it kind of takes the frequency of of something and and then um, it can, like, the frequency of, let's say, um, a homeopathic remedy and then 
can, you know, impart that to a person is this, I mean, I know that's not what you're doing. This goes to the ongoing moment of creation, what you're doing. But is it something similar like that? I mean, is it is it reading the bio field from the picture too? And I, I'm not familiar with the instrumentation you mentioned, but I will say okay. this. Um, perhaps the similarity is this. When you're working in a scalar energy dimension with a scalar energy instrument, everything within that dimension is is entangled, quantum entanglement or pre-connected. Yes. And it's mm-hmm. a perfect uh, communication as well as a, a perfect discernment. That is, when I would place a person's photograph in a scalar light instrument, regardless of where that person is located in the world, the instrument will find them. It's quite fascinating. Um, the instrument works like a satellite. And then as such, we can send information via that connection through a person's photograph. And in so doing, the connection is never severed or, or, or there's no, uh, if you will, uh, diminution of signal. And as such, we can, we can guarantee an outcome with this energy. This is the beauty of scalar energy. It's fundamental. It does what you tell it to do. So my scalar energy instruments are dependable. I can guarantee an outcome. And the outcome that I can guarantee now is the ability to break apart microbes or germs. So do you, are you have the ability then to treat, say, Lyme disease or Epstein-Barr yes. virus yes. or MRSA? Yes. We, and That's correct. We have many diagnostic tests that prove we've been able to eradicate the Epstein-Barr virus from the body, the Lyme spirochete. Um, um, Tuberculosis. We have people from around the world who've told us that they had um, lung infection, uh, TB. And after working with them, we're able to destroy that bacterium, mycobacterium tuberculosis, that causes mm-hmm. TB. Mm-hmm. So this is, you know, I, I know it's quite a profound uh, comment, a, a claim on my part, but I'll stand by it. A scalar energy instrument allows me to have mastery control over a microbe, a germ. And as such, we can break down the bacterium that causes tuberculosis. And you will no longer have TB if you work with us. I can guarantee that. If you have herpes, I can guarantee you that these instruments will break down, will fragment the herpes virus and do so in a convincing uh, manner. And you will no longer have the herpes virus. So it's, it's a it's a new way of looking at disease, especially microbial disease, uh, pathogenic disease. And it's the answer, Joan. I'll, I'll go on record. This is the answer for pathogenic disease. Well, that's quite the claim, Tom. It, it is. That, that you can do that. Uh, so let's say someone has Lyme disease. It's so prevalent now. How long, how many sessions, how long would it take before you could eradicate that? Sure. Well, again, working at this level, this quantum level, this this fundamental um, energy, scalar energy, can break apart a microbe in one session. So it would only take one day to break apart Borrelia burgdorferi, the causative agent of Lyme disease in North America. So what I'm saying that day one, in one day, we can break down the Lyme spirochete or the herpes virus the first day of a scalar light session. So it only takes one session. That's correct. That's correct. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's, that's correct. Uh, I'm going to so give you an analogy. All... Okay. Let me, let, me, let me afford this analogy. Um, some people have seen this, and it's, it's verified. Some people can actually... Uh, sing, uh, and with that intonation, shatter glass. Some people have the ability to hold a wine glass to their lips and to resonate by way of the law of resonance, the same pitch or the, the same frequency that that glass vibrates by. And in so doing, you can shatter a wine glass with your voice. That's That's been proven. Now, in a similar fashion, if I can match up if you will, the microbe, the germ, then I can likewise shatter a microbe as some people can shatter a wine glass. 
That's the law of resonance. And so if we mm-hmm. extend that law of resonance to the scalar energy dimension, we see that everything is held together by a certain information system, a certain quantum field. And I simply negate that quantum field, or I release those molecular bonds. And when you release that intelligence, when you release those molecular bonds, a germ, a microbe, falls apart. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It's straightforward. And you're able to target it because of its resonant frequency. That's, that's correct. That's correct. That's the, that's the key. That's the uh-huh. intelligence. Uh-huh. How do we instruct the instrument? By targeting those molecular bonds. It's, it's a, a very precise uh, methodology that I use. And the instrument then, scalar light instruments, can target a microbe and simply negate, break down those molecular bonds that hold together a virus, a fungus, a parasite, etc. cetera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I have a couple more questions. I know you do more than just work with the pathogens. You also, in your free offer, um, offer a nutrient program. How do you, you know, how does scalar energy assemble nutrients inside the body? Sure. Um, with a scalar light instrument, we are able to assemble to create the molecular bonds of, say, a vitamin or a phytochemical or an antioxidant or amino acid. Now, how do we do that? Again, it's quantum energy or, or informational energy. A scalar light instrument can be instructed to create the molecular bonds, the molecular geometry, if you will, of vitamin C or the B-complex vitamins or an amino acid. And all of that is done by way of this intelligence. Okay, this is the easy way to do it. It's, it's, uh, if you will, a scalar light phenomenon in which we can control molecular forms. Now, this is the beauty of scalar energy, and the world will finally at- attend to this notion that all matter is held together by scalar light, scalar energy. And if you want to create um, a physical form, you simply have an in-phase capacity. So I have an instrument that works on an in-phase capacity that can create any type of vitamin or phytochemical or antioxidant, or fatty acid, or amino acid. Um, It's a straightforward process once again. It's a guaranteed process because a scalar light instrument can control molecular geometry. And I've, I've said in many ways this is alchemy. Many people have always wanted to know what's the fundament behind alchemy. It's scalar energy. Scalar energy is responsible for atomic and molecular geometry. Scalar energy is is the animating force that holds together atoms, that holds together molecules. I am working with that every day in my laboratory. I am able to create atoms. I am able to create molecules. It's fascinating. In other words, we finally have a technique in which we can create a chemical. And these natural chemicals, I call it my nutrient program, when you're under this program, this therapy that we work with, we're able to create vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, amino acids, phytochemicals inside the body. Now, the upshot of that nutrient therapy is that people feel better, that we finally can create inside the body the necessary micronutrients that are are needed for, for health, for repair, for reproduction, for metabolism, for energy. So, if you will, this is a delivery of micronutrients by way of light in which every cell in the body then participates in this scalar energy process. And every cell in the body then will have the ability to be nourished, the ability to to have this perfect delivery of micronutrients. All of this is afforded by light, scalar light. 
So in the future, I foresee a world in which we will supplement our diet with scalar light. We will get the necessary nutrients that we need by way of light, and that will be a day that we will see the world, the health of the world will be enhanced by this nutritional program. Pennies on the dollar, Joan. It's so simple. It's so straightforward. It's, it's inexpensive nutrition, if you will, but it's the perfect delivery system for nutrition by way of energy. It kind of sounds to me like what breatharians do. I don't yeah. know if you if you've heard about yeah. breatharians that you know yeah. they'll they'll just get all of their nutrition from the sunlight and the breath. <laughs> yes, yes. And how do they do That's that? Well, it's an instructional system. It's it's an informational paradigm in which some people can transmute the necessary elements vitamins, minerals, antioxidants that their body needs. There's an easier way than, than just tr- trying to, to, to uh, supplement by way of multivitamins. The easier way is by way of scalar energy, in which you do not have to rely upon metabolism. See, that's the key. With yes. scalar energy, we don't have to worry about the body breaking down nutrients and to the contrary, we create the nutrient by way of energy. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. If, if you will, the easiest way to provide nutri- n- nutrition, the necessary nutrients that we need is by way of light, by way of energy, in which you obviate the circulatory system, you obviate the need to metabolize, break down nutrients. All right. so you don't even that. have to go through the yeah. You don't have to go through the you, Krebs cycle or anything. <laughs> yes, precisely, precisely. Uh-huh. We are creating the nutrient inside each cell of the body. Now that speaks mm-hmm. also to the distribution of right. these nutrients. A lot of people have problems, mm-hmm. say, uh, providing the proper nutrition, say, to their fingernails or to their extremities, or to all of their tissues throughout their body because it has to be delivered, obviously, by the bloodstream, but there also has to be some type of a met- uh, metabolism prior to that of the food. What mm-hmm. I am proposing is this. I don't propose to, to replace food, but I, re- I do propose to augment our diet with this light therapy in which light can deliver, and it's the perfect delivery, light can deliver the nutrition that we need and create micronutrients inside the cell. That's that's awesome. <laughs> it, I, 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 love, this. I love this kind of technology. I just love it. Yeah, what yeah, about this, this is, um, thank you. What about GMO foods? Um, I have um, uh, uh, I'm against GMO foods as you are. Um, I know, what, what so, I... but there's so many of them in this country. I know in Europe they're farther ahead than we are, but is, is there something that you can do to, you know, eradicate the effects of the GMO in the body then through, through the nutritional program? Or... Yes, yes. Um, again, um, GMO food is, is inimical. It, the evidence is mounting. The, the food, GMO food, causes uh, various medical conditions. So, Relevant to that notion, I have started a process whereby I'm able to identify the genetic composition, if you will, of various GMO foods, the, the genome of, say, GMO corn, GMO alfalfa, etc., uh-huh. GMO soy. Uh-huh. And I am able to break down that genetic composition of genetically modified food. Why? Scalar energy controls the molecular bonds of everything, uh-huh. including genetically uh-huh. modified food. So I am instructing my instruments to break down the molecular bonds of genetically modified foods, and I think I'm having good success with it. I've worked with some people who've told me that they're poisoned, if you will, by GMO food. I work with them, and many of them feel better within a month or so. So uh-huh. it, this is an emerging it's another discipline that I have to follow. It's, it's more research, but I'm happy to undertake it. Um, I will contend that in the future we will be able to break down 
the molecular bonds uh, found in GMO food, many of those food types are now remain in our body as some type of residual um, toxin. Uh, that's what GMO food yeah. is. It's not, yeah. it's not recognized yeah. by the body. These no. foreign proteins, no. yeah. These are man-made yeah. proteins. These are man-made uh, genetic structures that the body doesn't recognize. Well, the answer for that will be scalar light, which will break down the molecular bonds of many of those GMO foods. Well, I can see this also helping with a lot of dietary sensitivities, like to gluten and yes. yeah. and the like. That's, yeah, exactly. And we've had that, likewise, that feedback from people. That's correct. Well, so can it help with anti-aging? I think so, Joan. What, um, people have been on my I'm sessions really interested for in years. This one. <laughs> yeah. People who have been on my sessions for years have told me that they feel younger, and probably due to the fact that, yes, we can eradicate parasites, uh, pathogens from their body, but probably most significantly because their body now finally has the nutrition that it needs. Uh-huh. When mm-hmm. we're under the nutrient program every day, and we work with people on a daily basis, their bodies are finally getting the, the nutrients that they need that's going to slow down aging. I'm not saying I can reverse aging, but I certainly can slow down aging by providing this scalar light technology and delivering the antioxidants that we need to fight against um, this this radical scavenging, if you will, the, uh-huh. the, to fight against this oxidative process. Um, and we've seen that with many people. Many people have told us that they feel younger and that actually their complexion um, look, has a more youthful look to it, that they even look younger. And that would stand to reason. You know, if you're providing the necessary nutrition, your skin elasticity should should be enhanced. You'll have a greater mm-hmm. muscle tone. Uh, many people say that this has uh, helped them pr- uh, prevent wrinkling. What's wrinkling? Well, it's, it's essentially the, the, the skin, which is an organ, that shows a lack of the proper nutrients. So your nutrient program then would probably last longer than the the toxin yes. pathogen yeah. program? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, on a daily basis, I will work with people one hour, and in one hour I can eradicate the pathogens from their body. And for the remainder of the day, for 22 hours, I treat people for nutrients. Why? Because nutrition is an ongoing demand. Exactly. And Mm-hmm. Yeah, throughout the day, around the clock, um, we need nutrition. And I will say I've been working with myself now for over 25 years with Scalar, and I feel young. I'm 59 years of age, but I'm healthy, um, and I don't have medical problems. And, and to be attributed in large part to the fact that I'm working with myself on a daily basis with Scalar. It works. It, it keeps me young. It keeps me healthy. Mhm. You also have a chakra cleansing, a balancing. Um and yes. what happens during that and how often do you need to to go uh, through when that, I work with, that session? When I work with people with a chakra balancing, it's a 1-hour session per day, 1 hours. And I let the instrument, I let the 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 divine energy do its work. I literally turn on the instrument for one hour, and I subject a person to this energy, this chakra balancing for one hour. Now, the the upshot, the result of that is most people say they have a greater sense of uh, calm and tranquility, a greater sense of peace. Mm -hmm. Um, Some have said that this has elevated their spirit, that they're happier, um, uh, and that they have a greater outlook on life, a more... uh, progressive, a more positive outlook on life. Some people have said that this has reversed their depression, or at least it has given them a greater sense of mental clarity. So I will say that a scalar light instrument has a profound and immediate impact upon the seven chakras. And the reason I say that is I believe the chakras are composed of scalar energy, scalar light. So in order to effectively uh, influence the seven chakras, you would have to have the scalar light instrument. 
Why? Because the chakras are scalar light center points. Uh-huh. And this uh-huh. is this to, to me. This is the the new pathway of of mental health. I believe in the future we will not be working with people who have mental health issues so much with drugs. To the contrary, we will be using scalar light as the medium, if you will. That energy will be the medium that we will work with people with mental health problems. And I foresee that we will make um, significant improvements in, in mental health, emotional health, with scalar light as opposed to drugs. That would be revolutionary, really. Um Wow. And what about, here's another question, because I can see like so many uses for this. What about, we have such a, a drug problem in this country, uh, you know, the opioids and heroin and all. What about those that are addicted? Yeah. Can you help them? I believe so, at least in some measure. Many people have come to us and they have experienced at least some type of um, palliation, if you will, some type of weakening of the emotional desire for drugs, for alcohol. Um, I would say in some measure the chakra balancing will serve to, if you will, change their disposition. The chakra balancing in some fashion will change their thinking, will reprogram their seven chakras so that they will not have that imbalance, that desire for, for illegal drugs and for alcohol. Um, I've seen some people who are able to quit, if you will, after the chakra balancing. Some people have been able to quit their drug addiction or their or their alcohol addiction within days, that they no longer had an affinity, any type of yearning for recreational drugs or alcohol. And I would have to say that the chakra balancing was the was the motivating force, the animating force behind that change. And if that's the case, it, was, it simply was an imbalance of their chakras. To reprogram mm-hmm. their chakras, mm-hmm. people no longer had that desire, that hankering for recreational drugs or alcohol. We simply effaced that. Again, energy, scalar energy is instructive energy, and it can change our thinking. And with some people, we've been able to reprogram their chakras, and accordingly, they no longer have a desire for drugs or alcohol. I know people that um, have hiked, like, say, the Appalachian Trail or, um, you know, uh, the, the Camino and all of that, and they go through these healings. Yes. And it's because they're outside all the time. They're getting sunlight and yes. moonlight and starlight. Is that why? Yeah. I mean, they're in yes. nature. For, they're just bathed yes. in it 24-7. That's correct. That's correct. And and they're bathed in, then in scalar energy and well put, Joan. And this is why nature is a healer. We have mm-hmm. to get away from man-made chemicals. And yes. it's kind of obvious. The body cannot assimilate, metabolize so many man-made chemicals. That's been proven, okay? So if if the body cannot properly assimilate, break down, incorporate man-made chemicals, then we should avoid them. Many of them are toxins. That's that's obvious. Many of them are carcinogenic. So Mm -hmm. I've, Mm -hmm. I've always been a proponent. You have to go back to nature. I do not take pharmaceutical products. I don't need them, thank God. Food is my medicine. I live in Florida. I try and get some sunshine on my body every day, not too much. And I I live as close to nature as possible. Um, Many times I walk barefoot outside in order to ground Mm -hmm. myself. Yes. So if if we are a product of nature, we are. The human body is composed of elements, okay, elements from the periodic table. Then we should we need to go back to nature. That's how we ground ourselves, and to get away from from man-made chemicals to, to get away from pollutants, from toxins. All of this makes sense. We've heard this all before. You simply have to take the necessary steps. I encourage you to take those steps, maybe just one step a week or one step a month, but change your lifestyle and, and don't be subject to these man-made chemicals and don't be subject to 5G and, and try to, to live a life closer to nature. It works. 
and you will feel better. Yes, I feel so sad for this, you know, next generation that has no connection with the earth, with Mother Earth, with nature, with uh, did, did they not know what the name of that bird is or that tree or yeah. that bush or, you know, do you know where your food comes from? You know, I, I just feel they're so disconnected yeah. and, and we just need to get back. Yeah, it, it's, it's a shame. I think the iPhone has, has really entranced so many people today. Mm-hmm. It's a wonderful mm-hmm. technology, but you cannot live your life on an iPhone. It's, it's an artificial world. You have to still go outside and experience nature. You have to converse with people. We are social beings. We sh- should still have a meaningful conversations with our friends and our loved ones. You know, all of this within reason. And, and sadly, I, I see what's happened in the world today. Sure, we're connected. Sure, Wi-Fi is needed. But th- that should not be the end all. And you have to live a balanced lifestyle. Definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've always wondered why we needed phones, because even when I was younger, I thought, well, this is yeah, this is just, you know, um, so caveman like, well, you know, we don't need these. You don't need a phone to communicate. You know, I just knew that, you know, one day we're all just going to be telepathic. You don't need a phone. Yes. Yes, you're right. Like, you're just, right. Just ride the waves of what is. And yeah. So are that, other people doing this? Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. As our consciousness is increasing here, I'm sure. But uh, we're we're getting informed by this light. Um, so anybody else doing this, Tom? Or are you the only one? Or I I don't think on my level, sadly, Joan. And I don't know why. You know, it offers such great promise. You know, I I don't want this to be a monopoly. My website is public. I share my information far and wide. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I know I make some pretty bold claims, but I can stand by it. I'm saying to the people in listening audience that we finally have the answer for bacterial, fungal, and viral disease. That should be headline news. I hope this resonates with you. And if so, then let's go about and heal the world. Um, I, I am an open book. I would hope that there would be a groundswell of support for my work. Um, we need a, a number of people to get on board and to work towards that goal. Um, again, to answer your question, I don't know of anybody in the world who's doing what I'm doing with Scalar Light and offering these sessions, offering these therapies to the general public. Hmm. So for somebody that's interested in this, I'm sure they have this question, like, what's the side effects? Because we all, you know, you hear it on TV when they put, you know, drug commercials up, you know, and can cause blah, 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 and death, you know. So so are there any side effects to any of these treatments? Not that I've seen them. There's no negative side effects. And how can I make such a comment? Well, keep in mind, I'm working with sunlight, starlight, the pure sunlight which is scalar light, scalar energy. And that type of dimension is, first of all, it's massless. It's simply light. It's not a chemical. It's not physical in character. So I'm not working with any chemical or any physical manifestation, any physical form. I'm working with light, pure light, and that pure light is benign. It's divine. It's clean. So Uh my animating force, that of scalar light, does not carry with it any negative side effects. It's not a chemical. It's actually not a physical form. It's massless. Right, yes. It's pure light. And if if it's something is massless, then you cannot have an adverse effect produced by something of mass. In other words, A chemical produces a chemical reaction. I understand that. Some of those chemical reactions are inimical. Well, I'm not working with chemicals. I'm working with light. There is no mass. There is no chemical. So you do have an offer, a free offer for people. Would you explain that to us and how anyone listening can take advantage of that? 
Bouchard. The website is scalarlight.com. Scalar is spelled S-C-A-L-A-R, scalarlight.com. We've made it a point that we want to provide complimentary free sessions. So visit the website. At the top, there's a red banner. It says free trial. And as the name implies, anybody in the world can sign up for a free trial. Simply submit your photograph, and we will provide you complimentary scalar light sessions. Now, we are going to have that banner at the top of our website in perpetuity. Why? We want to get the message out there. and We want to be able to work with people around the world, provide complimentary sessions so that people can feel comfortable with this new and emerging technology. So visit the website scalarlight.com. See the red icon at the top. Click the link free trial, and you could sign up your entire family. We actually allow people to, to register as many as 25 family members. You could upload 25 photographs of family and friends if you want so that they can experience the healing of scalar energy. So it's, a, it's an open door policy. There's no impediment, and it's free. So try it. I did. Um, and I'm I'm grateful to you for offering that. And um, I think the effect that I felt the most was this peace, this centering, this calmness, uh, just feeling lighter. And it just um, it feels like uh, a switch was flipped uh, since then. So thank you so much, Tom, for for offering that. Sure. Thanks for the input. And so we hear that from else? so many people. We hear that mm-hmm. from so many people. It It's produced a different terrain in their body. You know, again, if you have this download of pure light, sunlight in your body, it's going to change your, your mental perspective. Yes, we can eradicate germs from your body. Yes, we can leave you germ-free. But it it has such a far-reaching effect that many people say it has changed their thinking. To that point, some people have said that this has changed their perspective in life. It's given them a healthier perspective in life. Well, I didn't do that. The energy did that. That's the animating force. So scalar light, this chakra balancing, is really a download of information. It's really a download that sometimes changes our lifestyle. And we've seen that with so many people. Please, just try it. It's, it's, again, it's a free session for you and your family. You will see the, the salubrious effects, and we'll make you a believer that this technology is a game changer. It's going to change the world. Well, thank you so much, Tom, for all of this work and for dedicating 25 years, over 25 years now of working with us. Um, and I hope that everybody listening will take advantage of it and try it. Anything else you want to add before I close the show today, Tom? Joan, thank you for your effort. Uh, now, on my part, I want to thank you for your effort because it's not easy to, to have interviews like this, and it takes a lot of time and, and a lot of work effort on your part. So thank you for being an answer to the world, and thank you for making this a better world to live in. Well, thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. And uh, speaking of a better world, that's what the Earth Energy Forecast Show is all about. And next week, it is the beginning of August. Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. So the first Tuesday of every month, we have our resident astrologer, Jude Valentine, on. And she's going to talk about a much lighter (laughs) astrology for August. Oh, boy, we really need a breather. And tomorrow... It should be a nice uh, new moon. So with that, thank you again, Tom. I wish everyone a beautiful rest of their day and much love. Take care.